Hi, I'm Dr. Tiglio at the Drake Center. We are here to talk about feline lab work today. Dr. Tiglio, what is lab work for a cat and how is it done? Well, lab work is, uh, consists of two things, mainly blood work and urine samples. And mainly what we're looking at on our feline patients are organ function abnormalities, electrolytes, thyroid levels, and various components of the urine sample, urine concentration, screening for urinary tract infections. How does a baseline lab test impact the health and well-being of my cat? It's good to know where we're starting out at. So if there's changes in the future, which there likely will be as your kitty gets older, it's good to know where they started at. Um, also, if we start any medications, then it's good to know what the response to those are in the future. What are some reasons that my cat might need lab work done? Lots of reasons. Baseline lab work is always a good idea just to see where we're starting out at. And also if they become sick. Um, but some of the biggest concerns we see in kitties are vomiting, weight loss, um, any diarrhea, GI abnormalities, or um, if they're going under anesthesia for any sort of procedure. What are some possible cat health conditions that lab work can help detect? The most common ones we see in kitties are kidney disease, especially in older kitties, hyperthyroidism, and urinary tract infections. Diabetes is also on the list as well. What specific things are being looked at while using my cat's blood work, and what can it tell my veterinarian about my cat's health? So there's a bunch of different, different things on lab work. Um, some values reflect organ function or organ abnormalities. Some are electrolytes, which can go in conjunction with uh, organ function abnormalities. Thyroid level is really important. And our CBC, which is our blood cell count, that checks for anemia, elevations in white cell counts, which could be indicative of inflammation or infection, and also urinalysis. So we're looking for our concentrating ability of the kidneys, um, also any signs of urinary tract infection. Is blood work alone enough to ensure a proper diagnosis of a cat's illness? Not always, but it gives us a really good starting point. It'll give us a lot of information about organ function. Um, diabetes, we can often diagnose on lab work, urinary tract infections, hyperthyroidism. Sometimes we have to add on a little bit more lab work to the screening panels to make a further diagnosis. And sometimes we'll recommend further imaging like an abdominal ultrasound or x-rays to uh, figure out exactly what's going on. Last question, why is early detection and diagnosis of cat illnesses using lab work so important? Well, the earlier we detect it, the better chance we have at managing it appropriately. So if we catch a problem early, we can start treatment early, we can change our diet early, and it reduces the risk that uh, the kitty's not gonna respond to treatment. If you have any more questions, contact us over at the Drake Center.